things I shouldn't know. Good morning, Stephanie Cameron, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whispers for Monday, March 22nd, 2021. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really digging today's pre-market action for day trading. It's okay, I've definitely seen better setups, so just letting you guys know if you want to go back to sleep, go ahead, wake up a little bit later, probably set up for a nice swing in the afternoon, but guess what? We had major dark pool levels coming in on the SPY, especially 15 million at 390.05. Yeah, but look, just look where we are, okay? Does this look like you wanna hang out and trade here? Look at that, a lot of moving averages. This is not gonna be a good situation. If we break above here, yes, if we break below here, right? But it definitely could be sticky, but Bull above 391 if you want to trade it. And bear below 388.25. Let's head on over to the Russell. All right, Russell, same kind of situation going on here. Big level, 225.40. So for swing trading, we definitely want to see if we close above that. But look where we are. We're kind of stuck in the middle of nowhere right here. All right, lots of algos. Moving averages, bouncing back and forth. Bull above 228, bear below 225. Next up is the Q's. All right, the Q's also stuck in the middle right there. Uh, bull above, and we had a pretty big level, 311.84. We're above that, 5.4 million. Bullish above 316, bear below 313.50. So the futures are pretty similar as far as the E-minis and the NASDAQ futures. Uh, E-minis bull above 39.15, bear below 38.87.50. The NASDAQ futures bull above 12.975, bear below 12.840. Let's check out oil. <clears throat> All right, so oil's a little bit better. If we break above the four EMA, there's a nice trade right in there, or if we start to turn down, so bull above 61.80, bear below 61.25. Gold, definitely a little bit better. Uh, bull above 17.35, bear below 17.24. So bullish above 17.35, bear below 17.24. And the Bitcoin futures. Yeah, we have a lot of room to go up or down here. So this is a better trade. Maybe you want to trade crypto today. Bull above 58,500, bear below 57,000. Let's head on over to some individual stocks. We got Apple, A-A-P-L. Bull above 123, yeah, why did I pick that high level? Because look what's happening over here. I don't want you to trade through this, you know what? Nope, we're going to be bull above 123 and uh, bear below 120. And still, we got some stuff going on over there. So, uh, CCL, this is a better trade. Yeah, bull above 2880, though. There's a lot of pivots. <laughs> so, no moving averages, but lots of pivots. And bear below 2750. Maybe that's not that great. PLTR. Uh, bullish above 25. Yep, I like it above 25. There's a, a little trade over there and bear below 24. Yep, I didn't like this no trading zone right there. We have NEO is up next. Again, we have lots of moving averages where it's at. Bull above 45, bear below 43.50. Mara, Mara looks great. If you're going to trade something today, Mara probably the it. Bull above 44, bear below 42. Bank of America, bullish above 38.50. Yep, this looks pretty good. Bear below 38. I, I do like Bank of America. AAL, bull above 25.50, bear below 24.50. This has been in a consolidation. And just want to point this out in the bigger picture. 
Yeah, oops, I just lost my chart. No, okay, there we go. Here it is. This looks very interesting in the bigger picture. So it's been consolidating. Is it going to push up? If it does, there's a big monster trade, you guys. Or if it cannot go above this 26, I'd say 26 is really key for swing. Okay. There below, we're going to come back down to the uh, VWAP most likely. So watch this. Yeah, this is exciting in the swing picture. All right, let's move that back over. But yep, we are totally at that consolidation. So yeah, bull above 25.50 for the day trade, bear below 24.50. Exxon Mobil, very exciting because we had those massive oil prints. Mm-hmm, this looks good. Bullish above 57 for a retracement trade. You know, this 30 simple moving averages is nothing to sneeze about here. It's pretty powerful. Are we gonna bounce up? Or are we not going to hold it and we're going to come down? Because we are below massive prints on XLE, especially where ExxonMobil top holdings in that ETF. So bear below 56, bull above 57. And Riot, another crypto. This could be good today. Bullish above 62, bear below 59.50. So really my favorites out of all these, Mara, Bank of America, Exxon Mobil and Riot and AAL more for a swing trade though. We'll see unless it, you know, could start to move today, right? All right, there you have it. Those are your uh, whispers for today. Until next time, happy trading everybody. Nothing, that's my secret. Can you keep it? My secret.